What is going on guys, Sign Delta here and welcome back to another episode of Jets Franchise. Uh, today, it's going to be a short video. Uh, we are going over the bye week. So, we're just going to kind of go over the draft class and kind of see where we're at with that. Um, do you have two players ready to, ready to negotiate? It's going to be William Jackson the third and Kendrick Green. I think Green will try and extend here. It's been fairly solid for us. We'll go two and two point two. I mean, he wants. Uh, let's see here. He wants seven point six, so should be able to get him with this. Nope, never mind. All right, so we'll try and get him again next week, but. William Jackson. I think we'll try and see what we can get for him in a trade here. Caden Surgeon wouldn't be bad for a free safety for us. Yeah, let's let's go take a look at what we need first. So I mean we're good at quarterback. We're all right at running back. I think we might try and trade away Daryl Henderson. We'll have to take a look at what that would look like for cap wise, if we're gonna get a penalty for that or not. Wide receiver we could use could use another guy here instead of Paris Campbell but I mean Paris Campbell and Quintus Cephas have both been really good for us at least early so far this year what our tight ends were good there offensive line were pretty decent I mean we could use a right tackle but we're gonna take a look at the draft for a, le a right tackle there uh, left end we're good Defensive tackle, we're pretty set. Right end, we're all right. I mean, Montez Foot's kind of old, but he's good. Left outside linebacker, we're good. Middle linebacker, we're chilling. Right outside linebacker could use a lot of work. Cornerback, we're pretty good, even with just these top three. But even if we do give up William Jackson, we could... Kind of go for somebody It's a little less of an overall, but I mean, Gilmore's in there as the third, and then Michael Carter at the slot, maybe. But free safety and, well, strong safety's all right. We could use a good backup. I mean, Pinnock's been pretty solid for us all three years so far, so I'm not too worried about a backup there, but. Free safety is kind of what we're looking at. So, I mean, Caden Stearns would be a good upgrade. But we'll take a look at the Broncos and see how they're looking here. So, I mean, they could, could use another corner. And they should still have Justin Simmons, which they do. Yeah, Caden Surgeons would be a good starter there for us, so we'll see. Let's go put them over salary. Okay. Well, let's see here. Just see who else they could give us that might free up some space for them. Nobody good is what I'm seeing. I 
So then why, when I do this, and I go in here, I can make this trade. Whatever. We'll make it happen. It works. So that gives us a little upgrade at free safety. We'll do this by week now. See how that's looking. Moral awareness. I think I'm going to go XP and minus awareness there. So stay grinding. Extra work put in during the by week gives us 500 XP for all players. It's going to kind of set us back next week, but it is what it is. We do have 40 staff points too we can go and use, but Ed Oliver, biggest name on here that has an upgrade. Do power rush on him. Decent upgrades there. Elijah Vera Tucker, another good upgrade here. Uh, we'll go Pass Protector. Kind of want our offensive line to be kind of well-rounded all over the place. And we'll go same thing with Kendrick Green there. And Venzel Freeman's going to get an upgrade. We'll go hybrid on him as well. Decent upgrades. Alright, so that's done. Take a look at the staff. See what we can upgrade. Yeah, everything's pretty much upgraded for them. Could go... One and two. I think that's what we're going to do. All right. So we can get rid of those. <clears throat> Scout some college players here. I did take a brief look at the class. Nothing too crazy. Uh, quarterbacks. Pretty much just favorited the these two, because they are first rounders. So I do want to see how they do throughout the year. But this one, short accuracy, not bad. Deep accuracy is a C. Derek McLaughlin, B deep accuracy in his third to fourth round. Uh, Braden Mueller, Miller, however you want to say his last name. B for deep accuracy and medium accuracy. Carlos Lawrence, a day three person. Um, day, pre, day three projection, sorry. Um, B, medium accuracy and throw under pressure, and then A, short accuracy. Not horrible. Clint Holloway, B, deep, B, short. Austin Young, undrafted. That's what he's projected. B, deep, B, medium. Brian Monroe jumped up 121 slots, so kind of interested in him, and you see how B-deep accuracy. I didn't do Dakota Stroud, Stroud even though he went up 126, uh, just because C-medium, C-short, D-throw under pressure. Nothing too interesting there, so that's what the quarterbacks are looking like. Running backs didn't take a Big look into these just because Brees Hall is pretty much going to be our main guy for hopefully many years. But Thaddeus Leslie. Ball carrying visions of B. Break tackles of B. Um, Tyler Winston. Carrions an A. Juan Watson. Uh, carrying vision is an A and carrions a B. And some of these day three guys.
kind of looking the same. Nobody too interesting though. Sorry, I just almost threw up. But yeah, these guys aren't looking too bad. Wide receivers. Uh, Amani Richardson. Really the only one that stood out with catching traffic being an A. Uh, Kari Parker. Releases a B. <coughs> Sorry, boys. Trying to get these videos out for you, but I'm just dying over here. Miles McLeod, B catching traffic. We'll see what the rest of his look like. Zach Trailer, undrafted. C catching traffic. C catching traffic and catching. Yeah, pretty much everybody else. Gerald Pickett, B catching traffic is uh, releases an F. I think I said release above, but it meant I meant deep route running. And yeah. Tight ends here. Uh, the only first rounder we don't have anything on him, so I didn't favorite him yet. Um, Javier Gore. Projected rounds two to three. It's A catching, A run blocking, so maybe he could be our Michael Nielsen replacement. Possibly a better tight end in general. Maybe a little bit more playing time as well. Uh, Kyle Garland, 3-4. to four, catch, Catching traffic's an A. I do like my tight ends, so maybe... I mean, the receiving classes haven't been the best the last couple of years, so... Uh, and then... Of course, the tackles, everything's going to look like an A for the first couple round guys here, but... We'll see where we're sitting. I mean... Everything but right tackle we're kind of chilling on. I mean, according to our chart, left guard, center, right guard, and right tackle all need improvement. So, I mean, left guard here, I'm fine waiting round three and get Mitch Skinner for all I care, or even Terrell Means. His impact blocking is an A. Same thing, Logan Brown here. Lloyd Cloud, his pass blocking's a F, which kind of neat on that left side of the line. Even though he's a guard, so it's more of run block that's needed. Center, we're good. We got Kyle Bundy. And they only have like three or four guys that are actually projected to go in this draft. And then right guard. Uh, Kind of the same thing as center, not a whole lot of good guys here, but Carlos Peck, Lloyd Thomas, uh, Theo Davidson, maybe Blair Gordon. Run block's not the best, but we'll see what his pass block is there. So awareness is good, so usually the awareness is good. Ryan Elliott, undrafted free agent, impact blocks in A, run blocks a C. TJ Jenkins has A pass blocking, but F run block. So, try and see what he ends up looking like. Uh, Scott McGraw for right tackles. Might be our Mackay Becton replacement. We'll see. Uh, pass blocks in A. We got to see what his run block and awareness are on that. Roman Hutton. Could possibly get him second round. But, again, we got to see what his pass and run block look like. And, I mean, besides awareness, a lot of these are not going to have anything really. And these undrafted free agents aren't going to be anything outstanding. So, I'm not really too worried about them. Uh, left end could use a little work. 
<clears throat> I mean, we do have Jermaine Johnson, but he could always use a backup in case he gets injured. Uh, Peter Cohen. Doesn't look too bad. Roderick Bo Broyles. Also doesn't look bad, but those guys are both projected number one. I'm not going to waste one of my first round picks. Um, or not projected number one, but projected first round. I'm not going to use one of my first round picks on them. And the rest of these guys are undrafted, so kind of forced to go over to the right ends here and see if we can move anybody over, but um, Johnny Calhoun projected top five, probably not going to look into him too much. Um, Antonio Costa doesn't look horrible. George Price power moves an A, block sheds a C, so maybe a guy we could look out for. Joe Mays finesse moves a B. Could look out for him. Uh, Jacquez Rut Rutledge. Tackling's a B. Black Shed's a C. Not bad. And the rest of these guys, pretty much horrible. Defensive tackle, we're pretty set there. I'm not too worried about any of these guys. Quincy Wall, maybe. Finesse moves an A, but we can got to see what the rest of everything looks like. Same thing with For Forrest Virgil. And the rest of these guys, again, not the best. Maybe Imani Shields, undrafted free agent. Tackling to B, finesse moves to B. Uh, left outside linebackers. This is where things get interesting. Because we don't need a left outside linebacker because we just drafted Rashawn Barnett last year. But these guys, from what I've seen, are pretty freaking good. And we could always move them to the right outside. But I kind of, so far, like, you'll see I have a lot of these guys favorited. And that's just from, like, weeks one and two when we barely knew anything about them. But Joel Trainer, block sheds a B. Kind of wait to see what the rest of his look like. Greg Snell, nothing on him. Uh, Devon Langford, Langford. Tackling's a B. I don't know why I said that's so weird. Elijah Miller. Pursuit's a B. Terrence Harper. B good uh, in coverage. Uh, zone coverage is an A. Dallas Knowles. We don't really know anything about him, but he did jump up 107 slots. So, and I mean, it's, it's a big boy, too. 6'5", 256. It's not bad. I mean, same thing with Jerry Vasher, but... I mean, he hasn't jumped up 107 slots, but he kind of looks the same. We do kind of know a little bit about him. Tackling's a B, block shed's a C. Max Peralta, undrafted free agent, but pursuits a C, zone coverage is a C. Not horrible. Maybe Jerome Price, too, block shed's a C. Middle linebackers, we don't really need one. But they don't look horrible. But lots of one to two guys here. Uh, only ones I'm really interested. Von Douglas, Zach Edison, Thaddeus Seawright. If you go down the list, it's nothing great. Maybe Mike Jones, he's got B zone coverage, but D block shade, he dropped 30 slots, so. Might not be the best. This guy went up 103. Everything's an F. So, I mean, that might be how Dallas Knows looks too, but he's projected 2 to 3, so maybe not. Right outside linebackers, I mean, Levi McDowell, probably going to be really good. But he's projected top 5, and I don't know how our picks are going to look. Um, Alex Bishop. Not bad. The rest of these guys, again, we just don't know a whole lot about. Pass coverage for Devontae Milner. Um, a zone coverage, yeah. Ross Fulton, same thing there. Uh, Matt Spence, B tackling. Could have some interest in him as a day three guy. Taylor Bradford, A tackling. 
undrafted free agent. First of these guys are meh. Uh, corners were pretty good. George Gilmore. Younger brother of... I, I forgot our cornerback's name, but his last name is Gilmore, so... Younger brother of him. Decent storyline we can make up there. Uh, Glenn McKee. Projected one to two catchings in A. You don't see that a lot. Man coverage and press are both C's. And like I said, the rest of these guys are just meh. Not really too interested in a corner of this class, but free safety we could look at. Deshaun Burke could be a good number one pick. Um, Darren Freeman. Tackling's an A. Pow, I think that's... I don't even know what that would be. But it's an A. Take a look here. Hit power. Makes sense. So, kind of looking like a Troy Palomalu type player. Honestly. Dick Hendricks. Hit power is a B. Same thing, George Franklin here. Yeah. I kind of like this safety class so far for the free safeties at least. Alex Tart, tackling's a B. Charles Anderson, hit power's a B. But we're good in strong safety. We could always move them over to strong or to free safety. But we'll kind of look more into them later, I think. See if we can see what their uh, catching is, but a couple undrafted guys here, Gabe Lindley and Jalen Short. Both have a hit power. Kickers. Maybe Colin Wagner. The awareness looks good there. Um, kick power, decent to solid. Might not be the best, but he's got B kick accuracy. So, might be a kicker to look out for if Cole Myers decides to keep going the way he's going. But a couple punters here to replace Zach Pryor. We might draft in the later rounds. But Max Beretta, Johnny Duffy, and Callum Carlson. And with that, we'll take a look at our draft picks and kind of see what we're projected right now. So we do have Indianapolis's first rounder. Right now they're projected the 23rd pick. Not good. Um, and then we got two second rounders, a third rounder, three fourth round, four fourth rounders, a fifth rounder, six, two sixth rounders, and a seventh rounder. But next year, hopefully the classes are a little bit better. So we do have two first rounders, um, three second rounders, three third rounders, two fourth rounders, a couple fifths, a sixth, and a seventh. So, yeah, like I said, we'll uh, maybe look to make a couple moves again in the next couple weeks here just to maybe get a couple more. Maybe another first rounder or two, but might have to give up some decent players for that. But with that, we will advance this week. And next week, we will take on the 4-2 and two Los Angeles Rams. Uh, we'll try and get Kendrick Green here again. He just wanted that little extra bonus. Um, Elijah Vera Tucker, obviously going to want him. If I'm paying him a little bit more. Okay. Try again next week, I guess. Michael Carter. Yeah, if we can get him cheap, we'll take him. But this hasn't really played a whole lot for us. But... Devin Lloyd is kind of the big one I'm looking at. 
maybe Jason Pinnock. He's been playing decent. Paris Campbell, yeah. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at. We'll take a look at these standings as well. So AFC, we got Chiefs, Bengals, Steelers, Raiders. Bills, Colts, and Texans are so far the playoff teams. Right, because it's 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So yeah, we're right behind the Texans in that eighth slot. So if we keep doing well, we'll be playoffs this year. Uh, Chiefs 5 and 0. Oh. Bengals, Steelers, Raiders, Bills, Colts, and Texans all 4 and 2. NFC, we got Commanders and Cardinals at 5 and 1. Uh, Bears four and two, Rams four and two, Panthers, Giants, Cowboys, Falcons, Vikings, Bucks, Packers, and 49ers all tied at three and three. All kind of fighting for that. Those last couple spots there for the playoffs. The last three it looks like. But so far, Panthers, Giants, and Cowboys look like they. Have that held down the Lions 0-6. And the Patriots 0-5, surprisingly. So, it's kind of where the standings are right now. And that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you are new here, make sure you just subscribe. And until my next video, stay cool. Peace. Alright, I am going to throw on the end of this video quick, too. Just a couple of trades I just made. Um, so we traded our second rounder and two fourth rounders to the Chiefs for their first round pick this year. And we just traded Daryl Henderson to the Chargers for their third rounder next year. Um, I did sign Chase Edmonds from free agency as well. So he is going to be our new secondary. Uh, he is going to be our new secondary running back. I mean, we got McBride back there. Chase Edmonds is really going to be like a third down back, I think, if we run screens on third down. But we'll put him down as our third down back. Brees Hall is pretty much going to be our main guy. McBride's going to be our power back, I think. And, yeah, Chase Edmonds is just going to kind of be in as like a backup third downer or if Brees Hall gets injured. But um, didn't really see the need in... Paying Henderson what we were for the couple more years that we had him. Figure just chase Edmonds the rest of this year and then we'll kind of look at a running back in the draft. So, yeah, that's kind of where we're at with that. So, yeah, let's go do it now, guys. So, catch you guys next week against the Rams. And until then, stay cool. Peace.